Hi everybody, this is Randy Baker from Composition and Visual Design. I'm going to give you a short little video on how to set up your uh, Westcott U-Lite system. Uh, so this is a Westcott U-Lite head. Uh, this is the 20-inch uh, softbox. This has four uh, spokes on it right now. You also have a 26-inch octabox. This will work the same. So what I want you to do is I want you to take the head, and then I want you to take your uh, light stand, and you're going to put the, the head right on top of the light stand. Make sure that this screw here is unscrew all screwed all the way so that the, the head actually goes all the way down on the light stand. And then you tighten that screw down so that it's uh, tightened down. And then you just want to raise that up. And, you know, this is about waist height for me. And then if you look right here, there's a metal screw on the inside of this ceramic uh, Edison uh, socket. So you just take that screw off and set it aside. And then... You want to unscrew this big screw on the side here, and then you want to tilt this up so that it's the light socket itself is straight up like this. And so with this on, with the rubber band still on there, what you're going to do is you're going to take your soft box, and the soft box has a panel on it. Uh, here's the panel. You can see the panel that opens, and that has to go on the top. So if you look at the Westcott logo, uh, that goes on the uh, left side of it. So you just slip the softbox right down over the spokes. Okay, so it comes all the way down, and it goes in just like that. Okay, so that's what it is. And then once you have that done, then you can take the rubber bands off. And the spokes come out. So this is what it looks like. And so what you're going to do is you're going to take the spokes and keeping the uh, window at the top, you're just going to put each spoke into the uh, little soft pocket here. So it just fits in like that. And you go right around the cor corner here and do the second one. And for the final two, you may have to bend those a little bit. And that's okay. You want to bend them down. And then what you're going to do, once you have all four of them in, you're just going to put it up upright, straight like this, so it's straight up and down. And then you're going to push down on that black ring so it goes over the white ceramic part. Make sure that your lights tighten down. And so once you have that done, then this is what it should look like. You can tilt that back down again. So it should go right back over there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take this little metal, metal ring here again, and then you're going to screw that back on. Now, you want to be careful when you put these stuff, this, this plastic ring around here, that you don't burger, booger up the uh, uh, ceramic Edison adapter. And then you're going to take your light. Your light comes with a CTO cap. Take that off and put it aside because you're not you're really going to be using that. Save the white cap. Take the lamp out. Now, this is your 5600 degrees LED lamp. You want to be really careful that you don't screw that in too tight or you push that in and it will ruin the light, and you're responsible for it. So you just screw that in, just till it's finger tight, and you're all set, and then you take the diffusion panel, back this up a little bit, and the diffusion panel has Velcro on it, right there, and you just match that Velcro up on the top, and put the corners on, and then push the Velcro in on the sides and on the top, and you're all set to go. Make sure that you have the vent open. So um, what I've done is I've gone down to my local Dollar Tree and they make these little tiny little craft clamps. And so I just uh, put a clamp right there. Or you can you can put a, uh, you can see it there, you can put a uh, clothespin there as well. But once you get that folded and creased, um, it should be uh, set to go, it should stay open. Uh, now, I've talked to uh, Westcott recently, and they're going to start putting Velcro on there for us. So, uh, And then uh, when you're shooting with your light, make sure that you understand that this light tilts up and down. So you can undo this knob on the side, and you can tilt the light up and down. So that when you, we focus this doing the lighting working for, workflow, that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be uh, tilting that light up and down. So the key light and the fill light are both at a 45-degree angle.